Sitting around talking about suicide sounds like a great idea. Well, things are about to get intense, right? Because we're gonna to get to an uncomfortable subject. We're gonna talk about those things. And it's almost forcing the conversation when you sit down in those small groups. And there may be some scabs that are ripped off. I've heard of it, but what is the Resiliency Tactical Pause? This is not just a top-down directed campaign. This is about us, and that's all of us. It's not leadership. It's not me as the wing commander or the command chief trying to figure out how to solve the problem. This is us, the airmen and the family at Moody. This is for us to figure this out. I mean, a down day would be nice, but I don't, I don't have time for this. We have airmen out there who can't afford to take the down day because they have to secure the gates or they have to do something to the medical group. They have to do things to take care of our customers. Uh, what does that look like to them if we call it a down day? So executing this uh, at the squadron level and being able to get that information out to build those touch points uh, and drive home what it means uh, to, to take this pause, what it means to connect with each other and be able to have a conversation is, is what it's about. And it's not a one-time event. This should be something systemic uh, and infectious for every airman for the rest of their career. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? We have to understand each other. We have to engage in these hard conversations and we have to figure out a way to actually make change. And so this cannot be just an anti-suicide campaign. This cannot be just a resiliency campaign. This has to be us re-examining fundamentally how we uh, interact with each other on a daily basis. Does leadership actually care about us? Even now talking about it, I can, I can feel the weight. There's things that happen and things that you see that you can't take away. Um, as you get up in rank and you become, you, you can become more attached, even though you're further away, uh, every time you hear about it, uh, it feels like one of your own because this is a family. Um, regardless if it's across an installation, if it's in your career field, if it happens on your base, uh, you carry it um, and you try to go on about your day to day, but you have those circumstances and those times sitting in your office, walking to your car where you just go, what's going on and how, how do you fix it? So how do we get there? How do we get there? How do we get there? I, I think it starts with honest conversation and feedback. Um, we need to understand the problem better. We have to care about each other. And that has to be a genuine care, not because it's a campaign slogan or because it's what we're talking about this week. This has to be, we have to fundamentally reevaluate the way we go about our daily business and be engaged with each other uh, in all different manners. When are they going to ask us? Us. 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 We want to hear. It, that's honest. I think from the chief of staff and the chief mass sergeant down, it, it is an honest attempt it is meaningful. We want to know what the problem is and get ideas on ways we can get better. Uh, we have a very challenging mission in the military these days in the Air Force. Um, but, but this is part of that. This is part of accomplishing the mission. Um, and we have to understand it. And so I think um, whether it's talking to your supervisor, engaging in these conversations, or just talking to the airman next to you, start that conversation, have those conversations. And then if you do have ideas that may help, then let your supervisor know, let, let, uh, let all of us know. Email me or the chief or Colonel Conde. Uh, this is uh, generated by airmen for airmen. Um, that's how we get after it. No more uh, putting up a, a PowerPoint or, or having an off-handed CBT you have to do. There's nothing too big, nothing too small. Uh, to bring to the table, to go, hey, this is what bothers me, so that we can figure out how to get after it. What if this happened to somebody in their family? Because I can't imagine that at all. Like if she came to me, I would, I would stop the world from moving to make sure I'm like this. Because my wife is taking care of. Okay, I'm. I'm Oh, 
diamond world. Look, I can just not fuck them up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, I would do anything uh, for, my, for my immediate family, for my wife. Uh, I would do anything for my airmen as well. Um, it's family, so, so it's important. 